Hi, I'm Melanoma Mom. My friends and my family call me by my name, which is Sean. And I am here for my next three month dermatology skin check. It's been, I guess, 10 months since I was first diagnosed with melanoma skin cancer. And I still get anxiety at these dermatology skin checks. For once, I don't have anything on my body, like there's no spot on my body that I'm concerned about that I'm gonna ask to have removed, which is good. I'm just kind of expecting this to be a routine skin check and I'm praying that there's nothing that my dermatologist wants to biopsy today. <sighs> so I'll check in with you after this is over. I am in the car. I just went, um, my favorite coffee shop is just down the street from my dermatologist's office. So I went and got myself a dirty chai hot this time, although it's not burning hot. Mm. If you've never had a dirty chai, you are missing out because it's delicious. Starbucks, I have not tried theirs, but this place makes the best one, in my opinion, <laughs> y'all. Nothing was cut off for the first time ever. I had no biopsies. Everything, no spot looks suspicious on my body. And my dermatologist is the kind that if, if it even looks remotely, like even a little bit suspicious, it, he cuts it off. <laughs> so, and I wasn't worried about anything. Normally, I also have something I'm worried about. I'm like, could you cut this off? And nothing. I asked him about that Derm Doc sticker it's called derm doc that I did a video on where it's a sticker that you just place over a spot and it determines whether it's melanoma or not somebody asked me to ask about nail polish if nail polish uh, protects you against UV rays and he had a question he had an answer for that as well and then we also talked about the castle test I'm gonna drive home let's chat about what he said in answer to those two questions and uh, or three let's we'll chat about castle rock castle rock <laughs> Wasn't that a TV show? The castle test, the uh, sticker, melanoma sticker test, and uh, nail polish when I get home. Hi, <laughs> I'm back. It's chilly out here. It's in the uh, upper 50s and people are doing yard work outside. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm a little hyped up from the caffeine. Okay, so first question I asked was the a sticker. I'm going to link that video down below because it had the company name and I can't think of the name of it right now. Derm something. It was a clear sticker that you could put over a spot and then you pull the sticker off and send it to a lab and it would tell you whether or not it was melanoma through the lab. Okay, so I asked my dermatologist about it and he said that that company has reached out to him and other dermatologists that he knows and nobody <clears throat> has signed on with that company to get their product because it's good if it's actually melanoma because a positive resu result, test result is, po is positive. He said, but <clears throat> there's a margin of error. So if, if they do the sticker, send it off to the lab and it comes back as negative, there's a greater margin of error than through a traditional shave biopsy. Because if the sticker doesn't take off the one little cell or portion of that spot that is melanoma, then the test would come back negative. So he said the margin of error is greater than through a shave biopsy. Because with a shave biopsy, they take off the majority of the spot, right? It's not like a flat shave. It's like a, they go down and up to get most of the spot off. And they try to get clean edges around the spot when they do a shave biopsy. But with the sticker, you're only getting the surface level and it may not take off, off enough. So that's why he said that he would not trust it. It's great, it gives you a false sense of security if it comes back negative. And then I asked him about the nail polish. <laughs> and he said, um, and the, the question was that one of my viewers had, I'm so sorry, I can't remember who it was, um, asked whether nail polish provides any UV protection. And he said, that's a great question. I don't know the answer to that. So I'll have to look up somewhere else. But he did say that our actual nails 
Arnell provides UV protection. He didn't say, he didn't know how much, um, but he said our nail actually provides pretty good UV protection. He said those that get the melanoma under their fingernail, it's usually a genetic thing and not due to UV exposure. It's due to genetics. Interesting, right? And then the third thing we talked about was the Castle test, which he said was a relatively new test. And because it's still new, the company that does the Castle test is in the process of gathering data. So it's a free test, um, but later they will charge for it. I guess it'll get billed through insurance or something. Um, but basically, <clears throat> from what I understand, the Castle test is a test that looks at your DNA and your family history and determines whether or not they think uh, on a sliding scale of is your melanoma something that's genetic or more sun exposure based. So like what are your chances that you'll pass on melanoma to your kids? What are the chances that your siblings or your parents had, <clears throat> had it or could have it versus um, not? Like how great is that chance? And so my castle test I had done months ago and he said that mine was low. I was at a low risk of it being genetic melanoma, meaning that it was a low risk that my kids would have it. But he said, because I have had it, that my kids should be getting yearly dermatology skin checks as well, um, which my daughter already took her. I have a video on that if you want to watch that one. I'll link it down below, uh, but I haven't taken my son yet, <laughs> so I'm going to make him an appointment uh, to get that done. My husband still hasn't gotten his done, and I don't know why, because I talk about how important that is, and he still has not had a dermatology skin check done. <sighs> what is that saying? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. Anyways, I hope these videos um, help somebody out there. I love your comments. Thank you guys so much for making, helping me to not feel so alone in this journey. Um, I was so thrilled to have the good news. I didn't have to be cut on today. So um, I'm going to take that win and that joy and I'm going to run with it. <laughs> so excited. Um, going to go enjoy the rest of my day knowing that for today I am safe from melanoma. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.